everyone. Welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I'm Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week I'm back with another watercolor project, a little simple one. We're going to create this little tree house uh, up in a little branch. Really super simple composition and I hope you like it. So we're going to need a few things. Uh, the little the little tree house, we're going to use this little structure here from the garden shed set. So this one. And in the tree set, we're gonna use this, this part of the tree. Actually, I'm gonna turn it upside down here because we're gonna use this part of the tree, just this only. And then in the swing set, the little tire swing. In the branches set, this little guy right here. And then for the foliage. So I'm using this one. Uh, this is from the Chest of Flowers. This is an older set. If you don't have this one, you can use this one. And actually, I'm gonna use them both. So. Um, that is, like I said, that's from an older set. And so if you only have this one, just use this one. That'll work great. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start out with the basic image and that would be the tree. So it's actually just a tree branch and we're sort of just given the idea that it's up in the tree. So the reason I did it this way is because the tree house is a little big for just the tree. So if you look at the size of that tree right here, it's a little small to house this tree house. But if we use it as a limb, we give the impression that the tree actually goes back in here off the picture. So we're sort of creating an illusion that this is a big, huge, giant tree with a little tree house in it. Okay, so we're gonna do that by stamping this image first. And I've actually placed it on my block sideways because we're just gonna ink this part. So we're gonna ink it in two colors. We're going to start with the dark blue, and I kind of want that uh, more of a grayish color on this tree because I think it's kind of old and gnarly branches, and so I'm going to use two colors on it, and then I'm going to go over it with the dark brown. And I'm going to stamp it in, in the center of my uh, watercolor paper, not too, not too hard. I don't want it too dark in here but I do want enough color that I can I can pull that color out. So now we're gonna position that little house into the tree. And uh, I'm gonna do that with my positioner. So I don't wanna guess as to where that's going. So I'm gonna use my handy little positioner here, place my little shield into the T-square, and I'm gonna ink this in two colors as well. So I'm gonna start with the dark blue and ink this all up with the dark blue. And then I'm gonna go back over it with the brown. And I'm going to actually stamp that off onto another sheet of paper here first, uh, because I really don't want this too dark. So I'm gonna stamp that off. And now I'm going to place my uh, little positioner right here and stamp it now into the corner. And now I can see exactly when or where I want it. I'm actually gonna sit it back a little bit back here. So it sort of gives the illusion that it's sitting kind of back into the leaves. And I can just huff on it and stamp it back here into the corner. And that looks perfect. So that's exactly where we want it. And now we can go ahead and start by um, adding our water to the image. And so I'm gonna dip my brush, pinch it off, and I'm gonna start out on here with the branch. So we're just kind of going underneath it. And when it's something like this, the darkest color is going to be on the bottom because the light is coming straight down. So here's where we're gonna see that shadow. And we don't really have to do too much here. Just a little bit. And now we can come back over here to this little tree house. Cute. And pull the color out of the lines. Now I want to do something a little different with this roof. I haven't done this in a video before, but this is actually really fun to do. So I'm going to take my, um, this is sort of a gray, this is actually number N57. It's a greenish gray and I'm going to use my fine tip and I'm going to just create a little wavy line here. Just, just like a little row of C's actually. That's probably the best way to describe it. And I'm going to now take my brush and drag that color up. And I'm just gonna pull it up like this. Just drag it up and it's pretty light. So I'm gonna go back over it again with the blue. So this is a dark blue now and I'm just gonna go back over it here with a little of this color. 
and now I'm gonna drag it up this way. Whoops, need to get my brush a little wet. And just pull this color now up here. And we're sort of creating a tin, a tin roof, a corrugated roof. And I'm gonna add some uh, lines to it now. So I'm gonna take that gray and just put it onto my palette and just create some detail here. And we've got a really cool little metal roof. Okay, so now we wanna be able to see through this little tree house. So I'm gonna take a pencil now and I'm just gonna um, copy this, this L right here. So I'm gonna make a line that goes down here and here. So I'm just kind of duplicating this a little smaller. So now I've created a window that you can see out to the other side. Let's add a little more shadow here. So I'm going to take some of this blue now and really darken this in here. And I'm going to take some of this blue now and create the sky back here. So we can now see through it and see the sky now to the other side. And I think I'll just continue that sky now and just brush in a little bit in here. Just really lightly. You can always come back in and add more of this color. So it's, it's always better not to overdo it in the beginning. And you're, you're actually just kind of pushing this color around, so it's, it's really not brush strokes with the sky. And I, I think that's where sometimes we get in trouble is trying to create a brush stroke, and it's, it's really hard to create a good sky doing that. Much easier to just kind of push the color around. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Let's keep going. We're gonna add some of this uh, shadow color now to this side of the little tree house. And I think I'll mix a little of this gray in here too. This is gonna be kind of in the shadow here. And actually this little entryway, this is that dark gray again. And we can kind of muddy up the inside, uh, these little, this little area inside, we can kind of muddy that up a little bit with that same gray. And I think I'm just going to come back in here with the gray again and just create a little more definition with that corrugated roof. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead uh, to the next step and that's to add some foliage now to our tree and we're going to do that. If you have this one, Go ahead and start with this one. If not, just start with your um, your foliage. And I'm just going to start by putting this in here, stamping it in here a few times. And it really, you know, it, it really doesn't matter where you put this because we're just getting the idea that it's it's a big old tree and this little um, little tree house is kind of up in the big tree. So we know there's going to be branches and leaves and stuff everywhere. So it doesn't, doesn't really have to be perfect. And actually, I think I'm going to kind of clean this off and take the tip and just put a little bit in the window. So we can see that that tree kind of goes through to the other side. And now we can add the water. Just dip your brush, pinch it off, and just dab. And, you know, go ahead and blend that green into the blue. That's okay. And you can kind of blend it into this little tree house. It's okay too. Pull some of this color down. Be able to see some of that green from behind the tree. And then just kind of fade this out. And just dip, dip your brush, pinch it off. Make sure you're not getting it too, uh, too wet. And then you know we can create a little 
uh, detail in here just by just by uh, dragging your brush back and forth kind of across the across the front here and actually some little blue lines in here and I can put a little of this gray in here down below continue this branch over a little bit or the idea of it just darkening that area and I think I'm going to come under here with the blue and really darken that area okay so now I'm going to change my green a little bit and add some more of this this vine just a little more detail A little darker that looks good okay so let's go ahead and put in the little swing and I'm gonna use my positioner on that too uh, just to make sure get that in the right place and I get it straight so I'm gonna place my little L bar in here I'm gonna ink this in two colors so I'm going to use the gray and the brown Here's the brown first and the gray over the top and I'm going to stamp that off as well and then place it into my positioner and I think right there looks pretty good hanging this down this far you know helps to create the image of this big tree it makes it look like it's just a huge tree and the swing is is hanging way down so I'm gonna come alongside these little ropes here and then the inside and make sure I see that that highlight on here I'm gonna take a little more of this gray And just come alongside these little ropes here and this this in here I thought it's gonna be pretty dark so I can make that pretty dark okay and then I'm going to just use my my positioner as a straight edge and just make a straight line a couple of them pencils work great for stuff like this And you don't need to add any color or water to this uh, at all. You can leave it just the way it is. And if you want to add some flowers in here, you can sort of at the base of the tree. I did that on mine, but that's totally up to you. But before we first, let me um, add a little more of this of these branches in here. I kind of feel like I need a little more in here. So I'm going to use the brown and I'm going to use the green over the top. And we'll just get a little more definition in here for the tree. Just going to come back in here. Just really lightly. Okay, that looks good so like I said you can add a you can add some flowers in here if you want to sort of the idea of flowers at the base of the tree and they would kind of be off to the side like this so I've got some yellow here just move this over and uh, we can also go with maybe a blue this is the light blue And just really lightly remember it's just the idea of things so we don't need to you know have anything concrete in here it's just gonna kind of fade out 
and then just you know blend these leaves out uh, we could take a little bit of this brown and actually just sort of extend that the idea of that branch kind of continue these lines that are in here You can see I've, I've got a little bit of a um, area where I kind of had a little bit on that stamp, so I'll just wash that out. And I think I'll add just a little more of this sky down in here. Okay. That was quick and easy. We are finished with this project. That was a really quick one. Um, try it, it's really fun. This is a really fun, don't be intimidated by this one at all. It's actually uh, really way easier than it looks. <laughs> so give it a try and of course give it away and make someone's day. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe and I will see you all next week.